Cool. Welcome back to Meraki TV. We've got with us today Vasily Vasilas, one of my favourite authors and someone who's been very involved in the local community for many years. Tell us a bit about your background. I'm currently working at East Hills Boys High School as an English teacher. I've been involved in the Greek community. I started in the early 90s with the Hellenic Council of New South Wales. After that, I was involved with Sydney Olympic as a ground announcer for six and a half seasons. And after that, I was involved with the Mithilinian Brotherhood of New South Wales. I think in about 2012 or 2013, I gave up all, all that up, and it's just books now. So I know that um, there's been eight published books in a short period of time, so you've been working very hard. What made you suddenly get into the books? The irony is the, the, you know, the books have, been, have all come out in a short period of time, but I've been working on those books for, for decades. Tell me about Between the Shots and Between the Silence. This is, this is brilliant, by the way. I was looking through the pictures and it's just fantastic. It's another, it's another classic in terms of what you produce. We always search for gold. Now, this is what I, I, ter I term it. You know, you go into a house and you, say, and you have to ask the question, you know, do you have any photos or do you have anything? And you know, 99% of the time they'll say, uh, you know, I've only got photos. But that 1%, you might come across, across gold. So I came across a guy called Ioannidis in Urwood, and he was a photographer in the Royal Hellenic Air Force during the war, wow. during the Second World War. And he had 27 photographs that he took or he developed. So there are photographs with, you know, bird's eye views of bombings. There are, you know, bodies being buried in the December uprising in 1944 in Athens. And these photographs weren't found in, you know, Thessaloniki or Athens. They were found in Urwood you know, in a townhouse, and that's amazing. Can I just ask, there's, there's a rumor that you walk around with a laptop and there's a portable scanner and there's a camera. What hey, do you it's do? In the car. It's in the car, yeah. <laughs> you want me to scan anything? Let's think, go have a look. <laughs> you want me to scan anything? It's in the car. I've got some pictures here, actually. So, so but, tell me, that's, that's what you do. That's pretty that's much mobile do. office. That's what I do. That's what I do every weekend. Every weekend, um, I'm scanning photographs, I'm seeing people. I average about two interviews a week. Wow. You know, two interviews a week. At the moment, you know, I'm doing maybe three. Um, so it is, I'm very, very lucky. And it's not, and it's not a simple task we just rock up somewhere and someone gives you photos. You've got to win their trust. You've got to learn a little bit about them. You've got to put their stories together with that photograph, or photographs. Like Greeks, yeah, Greeks, when, you know, when I was, when I started gathering stories in the Greek community, they weren't ready for it. Greeks weren't ready for storytelling. You know, there's a lot of taboo subjects too. You know, you've got the Greek Civil War, you've got a lot of things, you know, that people don't want to talk about. So it was like, Kyoshinaftos, so it was very, very hard. I don't know whether I was for the tax office or social security, <laughs> the pension, but it was very, very difficult. When I went to the Estonian community, it was again the same. It was, who is this Greek guy? And what does he want our stories? And why isn't an Estonian person writing our stories? Over the years, all the interviews that you've done, there's got to be a few stories that have stood out. Is there something that you? Is there a story that you can relate to? Look, I think um, I think there are there are great stories that I've looked at. Okay, um, and each book each book has its stories uh, that stand out. You know, with this book, with this book, I think they're all important. But I think I was blessed to be able to get the opportunity to run over to Perth and interview three Greeks who were in the Australian Army, uh, in Singapore when it fell to the Japanese, and all three of these men were initially in Changi Prison. Uh, two of them went on to the uh, Burma to Singapore Railway. Uh, the other one went to Indonesia. But they've got three incredible stories because they, they finished the war in three different parts. One of them was in the mines in Japan, the other one was in Changi, and the other one was an interpreter in an allied hospital, you know? So I think they are amazing stories. And I was just lucky that I was able to see them in their 90s, these men, and they were still alive, and they were still lucid, and they still could, could recount their uh, horrific experiences. Uh, and they're in the book. Vasily, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me, and thank you to Baraki TV. And I'm looking forward to reading your latest book, Between the Silence, Between the Shots. It can be purchased at some very wonderful sites on your screen.